Hi, I'm Jose. Today, I'm going to show you the most important process for the crusher wear parts, the casting. Look at the bright metal mixture pouring out from the giant refractory bucket and then flowing into the sandbox. Generally, the temperature of the smelting material was already cooled down to 1420 to 1430 degrees before pouring. However, we can still clearly feel that the temperature increased rapidly while standing 50 meters away. In our factory, the whole casting process can be divided into three steps. First, transfer the final smelted material from the electric furnace to your refractory bucket. The whole process is completed by the remote control of our current devices. Secondly, wait for about 5 minutes so that the smelted material can be cooled down to a suitable casting temperature. Finally, the workers control the current devices remotely to precisely pour the liquid mixture into the sandboxes. Usually, a total bucket of smelted material can produce approximately 2 tons of products. After the pouring process, we just need to wait for 24 hours until the liquid metal mixture solidifies into products. Then we will move to the next demolding process. In the next video, I will show you the demolding process in our factory. It's all for the video. If you find the video interesting, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel right now. Just click on the subscribe button right below the video. If you want some more professional knowledge, head over to libheavy.com and hop on the insights for the crusher wear parts. It's free. Now it's your turn. Is there anything else you want to know about the casting? Let me know by leaving a comment below right now.